uh, pokey people, and it is not in Zoom. There we go. Uh, welcome to the theme decks today. We have Clanging Thunder, we have Destruction Fang, and we're going to open these guys and face them off for a legendary battle, which these guys are pseudo-legendary, so maybe we'll call it pseudo-legendary battle. But we're going to see what we get in these Clanging Thunder and all, uh, in the Destruction Fang um, blah, blah, blah. Crimson Invasion theme decks. That's right, these are ones from Crimson Invasion. Look at that texture, that's kind of cool. But we're going to go ahead and read the back. Echoes of Mighty Pokemon. Come on, oh, makes mighty noise and battle with the thunderous crew of fighting and lightning types. You can tear it up with huge hits and powerful Pokemon. The Clanging Thunder theme deck is going the extra big at full volume. This includes that play mat, a coin to uh, the deck box, damage counters. But here is what the deck list has. It has a Kamo'o, Hakamo, Jangmo'o, and a Lulin Raichu. Two of those guys. Pikachu's, Gastrodon, Shellos, Emolga, two of those. Soul Rocks, two of those. A Type Null. So if you got that shiny Silver Valley box like I did and you need a Type Null, this might be the only way you can get it because pulling the hollow is hard. We got a Big Malasada, Devoured Field, Energy Retrieval, an Escape Rope, and an XP Share, three Howes, how you doing? Lily, we got two Nest Balls, a Professor Kukui, two of those actually, a Rescue Stretcher, Switch, two Timer Balls, an Ultra Ball, 12 Fighting Energy, and eight Lightning Energy, which is a lot of energy. But we'll go ahead and set that aside. And let's read the back. An appetite for destruction. Armed with fangs, claws, and poison. Hydreigon and friends are ready to battle. This dangerous deck calls on darkness and psychic type Pokemon. With howling fury and keen instincts. Making a furious attack work for you with the destruction fang theme deck. Now this guy comes with that really cool uh, Hydreigon. Uh, we got Hydreigon, two of those. Two Zuelos's, three Dinos. Two Hound Dooms, three Hound Dowers, a Beware, which is the draw support for this deck, three Stuffles, a one Salazzle, two Salandids. Now that's that nasty plot one, so you can pick out exactly what you need out of your deck. Two Mawiles, you get another Orangaroo. So if you're short on Orangaroos, go ahead and get this deck. You can get another Orangaroo. Energy Retrieval, one Escape Rope, one XP Share, one Great Ball, three Howls, two Nest Balls, two Kukuis. Uh, one Rescue Stretcher, a Sophocles, Switch, Timer Ball, two of those, Wishful Baton, 12 Darkness Energy, and 8 Psychic Energy. Now, I almost feel like Kamo'o could use the Wishful Baton a little bit better than the Destruction Fang. So, but let's go ahead and bust into these guys and, and show you the cards. We'll get them sleeved up, and then we'll start facing these two off against each other. Depending how long the video is. Yeah. There we go. Pop up, pop down. Pop up, pop up, pop down. And we'll get into this one too. This one opened up better. So we'll set those. Actually, these dudes are basically trash at this point. This is the plastic that came in. Looks like they started putting these backings on it again. This is good. I like I like having these things because they can... Um, ooh, it has some crimson in it. Uh... Or I'm just gonna I'm gonna throw it down. There we go. Uh, I like these things. You know, um, this can really show you how to set up your de your your bench initially when you play these. It has a uh, hydro gun on one side, the uh, Kamo'o on the other side, and explains basic rules in the game for you on the side. So for a beginner, that's what these guys are for. They're great for that. Um, obviously, we got two that we're not gonna use, so we're just gonna set them aside. Uh, what's this? This is another little rules sheet. It has the, um, if you're collecting the Crimson Invasion card list, you can use this to mark off what you got and what you didn't get. It has all the cards in the set right there. It doesn't have pictures of them like the Elite Trainer box, but, uh, and it says new rules for burned Pokemon. It explains that again, which you know that Alolan Persian can only evolve from Alolan Meowth. Um, it has pictures of Sil Valley. Um, let you know that Magikarp can evolve both into Gyarados and Gyarados GX. Salazzle can evolve both into Salazzle and Salazzle GX. So things like that. Some basic little rules um, that we already know. Oops, there goes the sleeve. This one comes with a Hydreigon coin, which you can't see because apparently 
I have it where you can't see it. There we go. You gotta put it in the light so you can see it. But it comes with the hydrogen coin, so that's pretty cool. This one comes with a Komoto coin, which is also pretty cool. So I'll put them on the table. Oops, that one rolled really far away. For the uh, the actual battle. So the decks are in here. I just went over what they are. Um, we'll flip through them in a second. After I show the Shatter Hollow of both of these guys. There we go, right there. And we can probably screenshot this for the versus itself. Um, I forgot to take pictures. But as you guys can see, they have that Shatter pattern that are known for theme decks. Um, so let's go over Komoto first. Komoto does War Cry. If you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, this attack does 90 more damage. So 124 double colorless energy. We don't have any more. We don't have any double colors in this deck, but if using him later on, he might work pretty well with Altaria and double colorless. So you can War Cry for 120 every turn with 160 HP Mon. And then Clinging Scales is kind of weird. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 more damage from attacks, which is kind of weird. I guess it's because he opens up his armor a little bit to do damage, so he ends up taking more damage, uh, which kind of sucks. And then we'll go over the Hydreigon. Hydreigon does weed out once during your turn before you attack. You may choose three of your bench Pokemon and discard your other bench Pokemon. So you can discard two bench Pokemon per turn. Um, how that sounds weird in the theme deck format. In the uh, TCG, this might actually be decent because one you can um, you can play around like a very good disruption deck with like Marshadow from Shining Legends, or you can. Um, you get rid of those those one time those from hand things, so you can like just discard your lele, so they're not uh, bait for Guzmas, stuff like that. So that that's what makes Hydreigon kind of interesting and sound like it might have a use somewhere. Uh, those basically it's for those those one time uh, ability uses. Uh, weed out can really get rid of, which is kind of nice. So let's go over the clinging scales, right? No, clinging thunder. Clinging scales is the attack. So like we said, it has Fighting Energy, a Jingmo, Devoured Field, Tire Ball, Pikachu, Nest Ball, Shellos, Kamo'o, Solrog, Bid, Malasada, and then Alolan, Raichu. Gastrodon, Type Gnaw, probably the most, I like the card I like the most out of this theme deck. A Kukui, some Pikachu's House, more draw support, and it looks like it's actually ready to play. But we are still going to uh, sleeve it up and then shuffle it around. There is the uh, Kamo'o Destruction Fang. You probably won't keep it in those boxes. As well as Hound Hour Beware. That's the Beware with your all support. Rake it in. Um, it's where we should land it. Stuffle. They gave us the, the Fighting Stuffle. So you can hit for Fighting Weakness against each other if you put two energies on it. Call for Family Mawile. Some more beware stuff. Oh, Hound Doom, Hydreigon with the weed out, a Rangaroo with the instruct ability, and then there's a Solazzle with nasty plot. Search your deck for two cards and put them into your hand. So I'm gonna cut it right here. I'll get these things sleeved up, and we're gonna go ahead and have a match with them. So I'll be right back, guys. Alola again, Dapper Drabby here, and uh, my other camera seemed to have malfunctioned, so we're going back to this one. But we're about to start off. This uh, Hydreigon versus Komoto. We have our Ultra Beast mat here, so we're gonna put uh, Hydreigon on the Buzzwool side and Komoto on the Feromosa side. Uh, we're gonna use our two coins as basically GX counters because we're gonna use this die whenever we have a coin flip. Um, I wanted to show you guys that the um, sleeve cards do not fit in these uh, boxes, so if you try to sleeve up your cards, you have too many cards to fit in the box. Um, sleeve cards don't generally fit in the boxes very well. But these boxes have the uses. They can be used for storage. Um, they can be used for, like, what I like to do with them is take them to uh, events and put the cards I get there in them for protection. Uh, but we'll put them up in the top corner for now. Out of the way so we know which side is which, which side is winning. But we're going to go ahead, get these things shuffled up, and start rolling here. We'll roll the dice. Odds on that side, evens on this side. So if it's an odd, Hydreigon will roll first. If it's even, uh, Kamao will go first. 
it is a one that is the shining legends symbol you see there um so hydragon will go first in this matchup versus come oh let me just go ahead and get these things shuffled up um i think i put them on this side usually so we'll put we'll cut that for hydragon i guess i'll just call him hydra right I like andre but hydra I think that'll work, um, but we'll go ahead and get this shuffled up, and we'll call him Como, Como and Hydra, instead of trying to pronounce their names the whole time, might be a little easier, and we'll go ahead and cut this one for Como, oh, and deal seven cards, one, two, three, three and four, same thing on this side. One, two, three, one, two, three, and seven. So let's see what we're going to start with the Hydreigon side. Um, looks like we are going to start. We have Dino, Houndoom, Salazzle, Houndour, and uh, a couple of Psychic and a couple of Psychic and Dark Energy. So I think we're going to start, since we see the play already. We're going to start with Houndour and put Dino on the bench. Since we're just getting started, we're going to put him face down. Go ahead and put our six prize cards out here. One, two, three, four, five, and the last top one, six. So let's see what we're going to start with for the Komo'o side. We have a Fighting Energy. Hakumo, um, Pikachu, Shellos, and an Energy Retrieval. So I think we're going second, right? We're going second, so we'll start with Pikachu, so we get that Pika draw, turn one. Um, and we'll set out our six prize cards here and get started. One, two... Three, four, five, six. We shake hands and flip over our starters. So let's go ahead. We'll start on the Hydreigon side. Hydra sign. We got a Sophocles. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and play Sophocles. We're going to discard two Psychic Energies to draw four more cards. Ooh, cool. We get us land it and a stuffle. We'll go ahead and throw those two down. We'll put a dark energy onto Hound Hour. And I think that's pretty much all we can do. We plan to evolve Salazzle and Hound Doom next turn. Throw an extra energy on Hound Doom and be able to start fire fanging for some damage. So put that down. It is Komo's turn. And since uh, Hydreigon is gone, we can now attack with Pikachu. Just looks like all we can do. We'll attach an energy to Pikachu here. And Pika draw. Drawing one card, which is another Komo- Oh, uh-oh, we're already stuck. Let's see what happens here. Because it looks like it is... Sorry for the bump. It is Hydreigon's turn. And we're going to see what this deck can do. We get another Stuffle, but we're going to go ahead and evolve into Houndoom, evolve into Salazzle, play that energy down. There we go. And Fire Fang for 30 damage, burning the uh, Pikachu. So 30 and burn. Now the new burn mechanic automatically burns you for 2, so... And we roll a die at the beginning of our turn to see if we get rid of it. We do not get rid of it. It is not even. Um, and all that information is explained in these right here. So, let's just find where it says burn. It's going to be right here somewhere. Um...
See, special conditions. If Pokemon is burned, put a burn marker on it between turns. Put two damage counters on it, on the burned Pokemon, and then the player flips a coin. If heads, the Pokemon returns to normal. So heads is evens. Tails is odds, generally speaking. In most games, you're going to find that to be the case. So Pikachu is still poisoned. Let's see if we can get out of it this turn. We get the Alolan Raichu. Now evolving gets rid of status conditions. So we're going to go ahead and evolve that, that Raichu. And throw uh, an electric energy on him. Now unfortunately we can't do anything past that. We are going to have to pass because we don't have any more cards to play. So back over here to Hydra's turn. We're putting the pressure on. We get as well as we're gonna go ahead and evolve as well as and we have no energy in hand. So we're just gonna go ahead and fire fang again for another 30 damage. Which bust uh which boost um blah. Which boost right you up to 80 damage in total and puts that burn marker back on him. So let's draw for turn. We get a fighting energy. Um, so I think what we're going to do here now is throw a fighting energy down on Pikachu. It does get two more, so it has 10 HP left. But I think we're going to go down slow winging, and we're going to try to take down this Houndoom with us. So we're going to use Psychic. Psychic does 70 damage, plus 20 for each, uh, for each, uh, energy on the Pokemon. So it does 70 initially. Um, there's two energy on it, so it jumps up to third to that, and then to that, which is 110 damage, taking out Houndoom and grabbing a prize for the Komoo side of things. We'll pick this one here. A timer ball doesn't help us very much, and then the burn. Did I flip for it? Did I flip to see if I still have it? I don't think I flipped for Raichu, so I'll flip. It is heads and they got rid of the burn. Yeah, there we go. So he has 100 damage on him and took out that uh, Hound Doom there. So let's see what our opponent responds with. They're going to move up a Salazzle, play down a Mawile, and a Hydreigon, and I guess their whole hand. So Lazel should be able to last a turn. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pass back to Komo'o to see what that is. Hydreigon has no hand now. We draw an Ultra Ball. That's pretty nice. We're going to go ahead and use that Ultra Ball. We'll use the Ultra Ball. we got to discard two cards. We're probably going to discard a Komo'o and uh, actually I'm going to discard Timer Ball. Mm, that's hard to do. Ultra Ball, discarding what? Because we need to draw Supporter. Okay, we'll discard the Energy. And with that, we'll search our deck for a Pokemon of our choice. We are going to look for that Oranguru, I believe. Oh, wait, the Oranguru is on that side. So, that doesn't help us. So, let's go ahead and grab a Zhangmao then. get an idea of what else is in our deck. We need to draw a supporter though. So we'll go ahead and play Zhang Mao down. And before we go shuffling, I think we're going to play this timer ball. Roll two die. We get one because it's heads. So we get one. We're going to go ahead and grab the uh, evolution of Shellos here. 
a Gastrodon. And pop that onto Shello since it's been down for a turn. We'll play that directly from our hand to the bench. And shuffle our deck here. Pikachu. Dang you. With that, the Hydreigon player will cut. We're going to go ahead and energy retrieval here. Getting back that fighting energy we got rid of earlier. I'm going to play that onto the Gastrodon. Um, making us feel much more comfortable about our setup. And then we will attack with Raichu for 70 damage. Onto Salazzle, if it'll focus down there. Um, so 70 damage is 6 and 1. There we go. Uh, we have no hand, so draw for turn. We get a Dark Energy. Doesn't help us a lot. But it will allow us to put an Energy onto Mawile. While Salazzle takes another hit to help us get set up. So on the uh, Como side, Como -o side, we pull a Nest Ball. So we're going to go ahead and play that. Well, actually, let's evolve first. We'll evolve into Hakamo and then play the Nest Ball. And we'll get the... Uh, I don't know what we should get with the Nest Ball. Experience here. <laughs> So we get a basic Pokemon out of our deck. Seems like the best one to grab right now might be Solwak. So we can double draw. Since we need some draw support on this side. And then one card left in our hand, and we will attack for 70 on the Salazzle, taking another prize card. This is a Kukui. Nice. This side will promote their Mawile. Draw for turn. It is a How. Draw three more cards. We will play down, um, which is Houndour, Mawile, and Nest Ball. Which is all the basic things we are about to do with a Mawile. <laughs> Mawile, we're going to pull two basics out, so we don't really have a use for any of these right now. Um, ooh, except to discard. So we can play down... We'll play down these two, which fills our bench. And then weed out, we're going to pick... Hydreigon, Stuffle, and Houndour to get rid of these two. We're going to call for family, putting two basics from our deck onto our bench. Which means we are going to grab... He's in here. Ooh, Rangaroo is not in here. That's the one you usually want to grab. In that case, I think we might grab... All the draw supporters are gone. Uh, since it has to be a basic, we'll grab a Stuffle. And a Dino. And that will be our turn. I'm gonna go ahead and Cut. It is Komoto's turn. We have Kukui. So what we're gonna do is we got we pulled a Pikachu off the top of our deck. We're gonna go ahead and evolve Jangmo into Komoto. Um, 
Play down Pikachu. Oh wait, no, we don't want to play down Pikachu. We're gonna Kukui though, because it's a draw supporter to draw two more cards. Two more cards we can't use. And we're gonna go ahead and Psychic for 90 damage, or actually 110 damage to take out Mawile. And pick up another prize card, which is a Soul Rock. So now we want to pick something that can take out this um, I don't know what to put up here. I guess Houndour. We draw a Hydreigon. That does us no good. We can Nest Ball here to grab another Houndour. But we're in a tight spot here. We need something. We need draw. We need we need to pull a beware. How beware. Um, that's what this deck is waiting on so that they can start taking prizes and catch back up. Right now Kamo is just swatting down whatever is moved up there. But nothing has the right HP to survive more than one hit. So we're kind of stuck. But uh, we have one card in our hand, a Hydreigon, and we're passing back to Kamo. -o, which has four cards in their hand they can't use. A Lolan Raichu. We're going to keep that in our hand, and we're going to go ahead and Psychic for another knockout, going down to two prize cards. This time we'll move Hydreigon up. Because it can take more than one hit. We get the energy retrieval. We'll play that. Getting us two energies back. Looks like we have all dark monsters right now. So we'll grab a dark. And a dark. Into our hand. We will attach... To Houndour. No, we'll actually attack to Dinah. Well, they both have fighting weaknesses, which is pretty bad against this deck. We'll touch the Dino and pass. Um, and we'll let Raichu kind of take a hit at another one. A Fighting Energy. We'll attach that to Gastrodon so that it's up and raring to go. And then Psychic for 70 damage onto the Hydreigon. Since it has no energy on it. Hydreigon draws to turn. Draws the Dark Energy finally. We'll put that on Dino. And, uh, pass. Draw for turn, and it's an electric energy. We're going to go ahead and put that onto... Gastrodon here, so that it's all set up to go. And if we had ourselves a stadium, we could retreat Raichu and just start swinging. But we will attack again with Raichu. Putting Hydreigon up to 140 damage. Uh, we get a Great Ball. We'll play the Great Ball. We just look at the top seven cards of your deck. And grab a Pokemon you find there. We find Beware. So we'll put Beware into our hand and shuffle our deck. Let Kamo cut it. We're going to play Beware down and draw three more cards. Which is a Dino and two Dark Energies. 
this is not the best of choices. Um, we are going to put on dark energy on I'm going to say Beware is the best option. Let's just say... Yeah, unfortunately we cannot discard Hydreigon. And we're going to pass there and we're ready to take out this Raichu next turn. As long as there's no funny business. Uh, an Electric Energy, we'll put that onto Soul Rock. And take out the Hydreigon for one more prize card. Uh, we're going to promote the uh, Dino over here. Another energy. <laughs> now all the energy comes. Sick energy on Beware, and it's fruitless, but we'll headbutt for 20 damage, taking out the alone Raichu and pulling back a Rescue Stretcher. But that sets up uh, Komoa over here perfectly to promote Gastrodon. Even pulls a Howl. And with uh, Gastrodon, go ahead and Earthquake, because it has three energy on it, to take the game. So that was how these two faced off against each other. Um, clearly both decks can break pretty heavily, but um, they, still, they still get some good cards to get started with. Obviously Hydreigon comes with a bunch of uh, draw support. It really wouldn't have been in that situation had uh, this Oranguru here not been prized because it would have been able to get out of those dead no card hands. And Komo'o, um, I'm actually surprised that it worked so well. It was only because Raichu was able to just barely survive that burn damage, which that might have been a misplay on my part. I'm not sure, but there you guys go. That's how Hydreigon and Komo'o faced off against each other. I'll take up no more of your time. This, guy, this has been Dapper Drabby. I will bid you guys aloha, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye.